Hi, I'm Tim Berlowski, Technical Product Manager at Symantec. Today I'm going to talk to you about monitoring and reporting. Many of our customers that I talk to every year describe their lives as being a series of fire drills. They are reacting to problems in their environment, they're stressed, they're getting paged, things are failing, they're, they're trying to stay afloat. They're bailing their boat as quickly as they can. And this is unfortunate. There are tools which you can use to, to address that kind of issue. But it is not uncommon. Today we're going to talk about how you can use monitoring and reporting tools to go from an, a reactive infrastructure to a more optimized infrastructure. And I'm going to discuss how you might apply different tools at different stages of your maturity model to get you to the next level. So if you're in a reactive environment where you're troubleshooting constantly and not sure how, what, what's going to break next, there are a few simple things you can do. We want to get you from reactive to well-managed. Let's talk about how you might do that. NetBackup Operations Manager is a free component of the NetBackup platform. With Operations Manager, you can have active monitoring of your systems across multiple domains and multiple versions. This is included for free with the base product. This kind of, of capability will allow you to understand what's going on in a filtered way so you can easily see the failures in your environment and take action on them. You'll also be able to do things like track policy changes and understand what's changed in your environment and prevent failures. In addition, you might want to consider Veritas Backup Reporter and implement the basic backup reporting. This will allow you to understand things like job size, the number of jobs that ran, the media that you used last night, so you have some sense of what's going on in your environment right now. Those kind of changes can help move you from a reactive environment to a well-managed environment, so you know the status of everything and you're able to take action more proactively. So once you're a well-managed environment, what you'll want to do is introduce efficiencies. The kinds of things you'll want to consider implementing in order to reach a more efficient environment would be some grouping of your data. Veritas Backup Reporter allows you to create very rich groups that mimic how your, your environment is run. So perhaps you have multiple service levels like gold, silver, platinum that reflect the critical and, and less critical data in your enterprise. You'll be able to create groups mimicking those business ideas and then report against those concepts and so you can provide business leaders a sense of how well are you doing with your platinum level backups. The same principle can be applied to geographic groupings or perhaps lines of business and this allows you to communicate to other business leaders exactly how you're doing. The next thing you'll want to consider is alerting. NetBackup Operations Manager has a rich set of alerts. The rich set of alerts can allow you to monitor both NetBackup health as well as the success of your clients. So you can be alerted of a failure when it happens and not a month later when the restore request comes in. Lastly, let's talk about success rate reporting. When you want to go from managed to efficient, the thing you need to concentrate on is measuring how well you're doing, determining the cause for failures, and then eliminating the cause for those failures. So understanding your success rates will allow you to determine where the failures are. Perhaps you're 95% successful now. So then the analysis becomes what causes most of the errors for the 5% of failures we have. Perhaps you have a media problem. If that was your finding in your environment, you could take action. You could work with your media vendors, you could work with your drive vendors until you had eliminated or reduced, significantly reduced media failures in your environment. That might bring your success rate up from 95% to 98%. Then you ruthlessly look at the last remaining 2% and say, okay, the last 2% are mainly caused by network failures. What can we do to reduce those or eliminate them? And this will allow you to become much more efficient over time. Now that you're in an efficient environment, you'll really want to optimize. And we have some great tools for doing that. The kind of things you'll want to do to create an optimized environment would include the following. Doing predictive analysis. 
Veritas Backup Reporter has a great suite of reports that allow you to predict what's going to happen next week and next month. So you'll want to know answers to things like, I have this many media today, they are this full, when am I going to run out of media? And we'll be able to show you the point a month and a half from now when you're going to run out of media. Perhaps you've switched to disk backup. You'll be able to do the same kind of analysis with disk backup. Another advanced capability I like to talk about is our chargeback capability. Chargeback allows you to create a bill that shows how much an internal customer at your company, how much resources they used up and associated dollar figure with that. If a business leader were to come to you and say, I'd like you to retain our backups forever, you can, you can turn around and say, yes, absolutely we can do that. The cost of doing that will be $50,000 a month. Is that it does that provide benefit to our company? Did you receive $50,000 worth of benefit? And they can do a cost-benefit analysis and determine if this is important. Great way to optimize your environment. Lastly, capacity planning. A lot of people dread the annual budgeting meeting where everyone jostles and, and argues for either hardware or human resources. And if you're showing up at that meeting with a sophisticated set of reports that show the trends for backup and recovery operations, and you can prove, I need a larger robot, I need three more staff members to handle the influx of data we're having, you can make a much more effective presentation on behalf of your backup and recovery operations group. If you'd like to move your operations from reactive to optimized, or wherever you are in this pyramid up to the next level. I'd ask you to go to semantic.com, check out our white papers on reporting and monitoring, and then you'll be able to rest easy. You'll go from the administrator with his hair on fire to happy administrator, with a cup of coffee, understands his environment perfectly, is not paged 24 by 7 with problems. Thank you.